11 important reasons why you should pray. Number one, prayer is the only way we communicate with God. In 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, the Bible declares, If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, seek my face, then repent from their wicked ways, so shall I hear, answer their prayers, heal their land, and forgive their sins. Notice if you may. It does not say, if my people who are called by my name shall sing, shall shout. But it says, shall pray. And that is because whenever we pray, we are communicating with God. The Greek word for prayer is prosuke. Prosuke means two-way communication, meaning prayer is a dialogue, not an analog. Hence, you'll hear people say things like, if there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. Number two, prayer gives God permission to invade our privacy. I have to go a little bit deeper here. When you read the Bible, you realize that God gave man dominion. So every time man is not praying, God will then conclude man has it under control. When you read the Bible in the book of Acts chapter 12, you realize that Herod arrested Elder James and he killed him because the church did not pray. But when Herod arrested Peter, the Bible then says, and the church earnestly prayed for Peter. In verse 7 of Acts 12, the Bible then says, and God released an angel. And that is because when James was arrested, they did not pray. And as a result, God did not release an angel. But when Peter got arrested, the church prayed and God released an angel. So every time you are not praying, you are actually saying to God, I have it under control. Number three, prayer can be sent to the future to restructure things and stop all demonic attacks. In John 17 verse 20, we see Jesus praying for believers then and believers who are yet to believe in him. Number four, prayer draws us closer to God. James 4 verse 8 declares, come near to God and God will come near to you. How do we do that? How do we come near to God? We come near to God through prayer. Number five, prayer edifies our spirit and transforms us spiritually. In Luke 9 verse 28 through to 36, the Bible says, and as he prayed, talking about Jesus here, he was transfigured. The word transfigured there is a Greek word metamorphoso, where we get the English word metamorphosis. But how did this transformation take place? Jesus was in prayer. You want to be capacitated by God? You want to be edified? Be a woman, be a man of prayer. Number six, prayer changes things. It can be your situation or it can be you. Jabez prayed and his life changed. Hannah prayed and her situation changed. So never be deceived. Prayer does change things. Number seven, prayer keeps us in the will of God, according to 1 John chapter 5, verses 14. And it also makes us bolder. In Acts chapter 4, and you read verse 31, the Bible says, And after they prayed, they were filled with the Holy Ghost, and they were bold. And they were bold. You want to be bold as a minister? You want to be bold as a chosen person? 
You want to be bold as somebody who's called, be a man or a woman of prayer. Number eight, prayer stops temptation. In Luke 22 verse 40, Jesus came to his disciples and he said, pray so that you don't enter temptation. Number nine, prayer materializes the supernatural into the natural. Miracles happen when we pray and never doubt that. Number 10, prayer protects you from evil. It stops the plans of the enemy against you or your loved ones. In the book of Esther, we see how Esther and the Jewish people prayed and Haman's plans were turned upside down. So every time you pray, you are turning upside down all the plans of the enemy against your life. Number 11, and this one is my favorite. God answers prayer. The devil knows that he cannot stop God from answering our prayers. But he also does know that he can stop you from praying. And how do we know that God answers prayer? The Bible says in the book of Daniel chapter 10, from the first day you set your thoughts to seek understanding. Thy prayers, O Daniel, were heard and God gave you an answer or God released your answer. So God is always ready to answer us as his children. And the devil knows that. But what he does, the devil, he stops you from praying. All of a sudden, you don't feel like praying no more. All of a sudden, you are too busy for prayer. All of a sudden, you feel tired every time you want to pray. All of a sudden, you feel burdened every time you are to pray. The devil is a liar. Don't expire, but re-fire. Pray that God will strengthen your prayer life. Pray that God will revive your prayer life. Because if there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer.